Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm with the amazing Shannon Rogers. I will link her Instagram down below. She does singing, burlesque, dancing, acting, all over amazing. So yeah, definitely give her a follow. Um, and we're going to make her up like a Hollywood glam superstar today. So I'm actually going to start with hair and I'm gonna show you how I create the entire look. So the reason I'm starting off with hair is because especially with vintage looks you really need to give the opportunity for the hair to cool down because the brush out is the most important part and that's when you really sculpt and create the look that you want. So what I'm doing at the moment is just sectioning off Shannon's hair and prepping it with a product called Plea by L'Oreal Paris which is a setting spray. I'm blow drying this product into the hair first because it's just going to help the hair have some additional grip and help mould the hair once it's been curled. Moving on to sectioning, I'm taking inch wide and deep sections of Shannon's hair and then I'm going to curl it with a curling wand. So there are a bunch of different ways that you can achieve a pink curl set, you can do a wet set, you can use hot rollers, you can use a curling wand with a clip but I find that the easiest way for me is to use my HTD styling wand. It just gives me a lot of variety in terms of the barrel width so I can create bouncier, tighter curls or more of like a defined wave just with the one tool as it has multiple attachments. It's also a lot less fiddly I find than using a curling wand with a clip or other methods and I find it's a lot faster as well because you're wrapping the hair and then instantly releasing it and then you just repeat the process for the entire head of hair. Starting on makeup, I'm first taking a makeup wipe with a bit of Garnier Micellar water and just using this to cleanse the face before we apply any product. Then I'm following on with some Hylamide Hyaluronic Acid Serum just on a stippling brush and applying that evenly to the whole face. So this is just going to smooth and plump the skin prior to makeup application. Next I'm moving on to moisturiser and I'm using the Embrylease Lay Cream Concentre Moisturiser on a stippling brush again and applying this evenly to the skin. Um, Shannon has a normal to dry skin type so this is just going to kind of prime her skin simultaneously um, and yeah, give her a nice glow. To further enhance the glow underneath the foundation, I'm using the Josie Moran Argan Oil Illuminator and applying this just to the high points of Shannon's face. Next I'm going in with some peach corrector from my Cinema Secrets Pro 5-in-1 uh, corrector palette and I'm just placing that underneath Shannon's eyes with a flat concealer brush. To blend the concealer I'm just using a Crown Deluxe uh, crease brush and then just buffing the product underneath Shannon's eyes so we don't get too much of a build up of any product there. Next I'm using a Crown C43 Rounded Deluxe Buffer Brush and using that to apply the foundation. The foundation I'm using is the Face Atelier Ultra Pro Foundation and I'm using this in a lighter shade, um, shade 2 and 4 mixed and then just applying that to Shannon's face and buffing it in so the foundation looks seamless. For concealer, I'm going in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer on a flat concealer brush and just applying that to the high points of the face, so underneath the eyes in a triangular shape, down the bridge of the nose, center of the forehead, cupid's bow and chin. To blend the concealer in, I'm just taking that same Crown Deluxe Buffer Brush I used before and then just blending in the concealer. Because the brush already has some of the remnants of the foundation I used previously, it's going just to help to blend the concealer shade into the foundation flawlessly. 
full contour, I'm going in with more of that Cinema Secrets foundation from the 300 series palette, I believe. It's got more of uh, olivey base tan shades in it. And I'm using the middle shade just to contour the perimeters of Shannon's face. Uh, using a cream, it's nice and easy to blend. It looks a lot more seamless and natural, I think, on the skin compared to a lot of powders. So that's why I'm using this today. Shannon's looking a little bit scared of the nose contour, but I'm just taking a slightly lighter shade from that same Cinema Secrets concealer palette. And then I'm just bringing that up through the nose bridge and then through the crease. And that's gonna layer really nicely with the eyeshadow I'm going to place there shortly. I'm just going in with that same uh, Crown Deluxe Buffer Brush again and then just going over all the places where I've placed the contour just so it's nice and seamless and blended into the foundation. Next, I'm just taking a makeup wipe and going over the eyebrows just to remove any excess residue from the foundation. To fill in Shannon's brows, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Automatic Brow Pencil in Blonde and just feathering this through the brows to create a nice natural finish. I just lost some of the footage of me applying the eyeshadow so what I did is that I used a fluffy blending brush and I went through with some frappe from Makeup Geek and applied some uh, vanilla eyeshadow to the brow bone and lid. To apply my winged liner I like to use a stiff angled eyeliner brush and a cream eyeliner so I'm using the Inglot 77 gel eyeliner here and what I like to do is to use the side of the brush to create a line extending from the lower waterline and then that's going to create the base of the wing. From that point on I just go from the top of the line and start to bring it into the middle of the eyelid and then I start to connect the lines up from the inner corner and then just thicken as needed. Another tip I have for gel liner application is to gently lift the brow bone and that's going to pull the skin tour on the eyelid so you get a nice crisp line. And then I'm also telling Shannon here to look down and to the side and this is the best way to reach the inner corner. Next I'm applying lip liner as a base to Shannon's lip and then I'm also concentrating this in the upper half of Shannon's top lip. And that's just going to create a little bit of extra fullness and help to correct her lip shape. Then I'm just layering some liquid lipstick on top. So for this I took a mix of Stila's Besso Liquid Matte Lip and then Obsess from LA Girl Cosmetics which is also a liquid matte lipstick. What I'm doing is just focusing the slightly more uh, brighter orange tone shade in the center of the lip and then the cooler tone red on the outer portions and what that does is that it gives the illusion of a fuller lip and gives a little bit more dimension to your red lipstick. Moving on to concealer, I'm just taking that same concealer brush from before and patting out any lines or creasing. And then I'm just taking a small fluffy brush with a little bit of Bed Nye Colorless Translucent Powder and just setting underneath the eyes lightly. Taking the same frappe shadow I used from before on the upper lid, I'm just taking that on a small defined bullet brush and just running that under the lower lid just to balance the eyes and give it a little bit more definition. For lashes, I'm using the Holy Grail Cosmetics Missy Lashes, which are a nice dramatic style of lash that I think will really complement this look. So I'm just using a bit of 
duo eyelash adhesive and I applied that to the lash and let it go tacky for 30 seconds and then I like to use a q-tip just to press down the lash just so it doesn't lift later and it's nice and firmly adhered to the skin. Next I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder Blush in the shade Electric Coral and applying that to the apples of Shannon's cheeks with a blush brush. I really like to layer my products so I'm going back in and re-intensifying the contour with the Napoleon Camera Finish Powder in N4 Mahogany. To add some extra fullness I'm just applying the Revlon HD Lip Lacquer in Fire Opal to the center of Shannon's lips. For a finishing touch I'm just intensifying a beauty mark on the top of Shannon's cheekbone using the same black cream gel eyeliner I used from before on a small uh, eyeliner brush. And then just taking a really small amount of loose translucent powder and patting that on top just so it doesn't bleed into the foundation. Next I'm just carefully removing all of the clips from Shannon's hair and being careful not to disturb the curls too much. taking a plastic wide tooth comb and using that to rake through the hair and gently separate the curls. Once I'm done with the brush out, I'm just adding a little bit of L'Oreal Super Dust to the fringe just to add a little bit more volume to the areas that need it. To finish off the look, I'm just using a bit of smudge texture paste from White Sands and then I'm just spraying the entire look with the Weller Professional Flexible Hold Hairspray. <music> And that completes the entire look. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see any more content from me, make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.